everybody, it's Dr. Dickinson. I'm just going to talk briefly about the math progressions and support you in thinking about what these documents are and how we can use them for teaching and planning. So just really quickly that your math progressions are narrative documents and they're aligned with the Common Core Math Standards. And the essence is that these documents help describe the development of a topic and it allows us to see what students are going to be learning in each of these grade levels. As you notice in this particular image, we have the domains listed, numbers and operations in base 10, numbers and operation fractions, operations in algebraic thinking, geometry, measurement data, etc. So in K5, they have those, those domains, and those particular domains are taught developmentally so that students can deepen their understanding and work towards mastery of the concepts and skills that they'll be working on in each of those domains. And that will set them up for success when they get to middle school. And so they can move and develop a deeper understanding, but also become more proficient in those skills so that they can tackle much more complex ideas and concepts. So the narratives are built on research-based practices for how children learn mathematics, right? And they are developed in a mindset of what is developmentally appropriate for kids to learn and how does this early learning knowledge lay the foundation for students to be successful in mathematics. Just like if we were teaching reading, we wouldn't want to start with comprehension. We'd want to start with teaching them those foundational skills of phonics and phonemic awareness. So teaching them how to read and high frequency word, giving them that foundation so that they can comprehend what they're reading. So with math, it's important to know how the knowledge builds across the grade span. And as they shared K-5, that's that foundational knowledge. And notice, thinking about in terms of Bloom's taxonomy, right? In terms of how we design instruction. Students are learning that information and they're learning knowledge and understanding. And you can see those words being, those verbs being used throughout K-5. When they get to middle school, it's apply and extend, it's analyze. So those higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy certainly go into play as students are in middle school. And then when they get to high school, they're extending that real world application, much more mathematical um, complex skills, but they need that fluency and they need that strong conceptual understanding in those foundational skills in order for them to move and be successful in high school, right? So how do standards progress? As I shared, starting in those early grades, those early um, um, elementary grades, they're going to work on development appropriate skills. They'll build on that. So take this example here, working with addition abstraction, developing fluency in that skill. And then guess what? When they get to second grade, they're gonna build on that knowledge to get an introduction of multiplication at a very conceptual level. And then by third grade, they're gonna start developing fluency and a deeper understanding of multiplication and be able to extend multiplication in a context. All right, so a wonderful tool that I just wanna orient you to is called Achieve the Core. It has this backwards mapping, as I call it, of the coherence map. So you're gonna click on the coherence map here and you can certainly go to I Achieve the Core and you could see the coherence map. I've already picked out, if I'm looking at a, a third grade standard, let's say numbers and operations in base 10, and I want my students to understand place value. And hypothetically, let's say that they're understanding with using place value to round whole numbers, okay? and to round whole numbers to the nearest 10 or 100, which is a third grade standard. You notice that it's three, which is the grade level, NBT, and numbers in base 10, and then cluster A, standard one. Well, I can backwards map. It's gonna do that for me here on this coherence map. And it will show me those previous skills that students should have um, learned in second grade. So now I can see what do I need to do to help support them? Well, my students might have struggled in second grade with decomposing and understanding a three digit number as having those place values of ones, tens, and hundreds. It's going to allow me to map that standard here. 
and I can click on these links and get more information and examples within that cluster. I can also look at some tasks that will support my students in this particular standard, as well as the solution. You can download them. I can look deeper at that progression in terms of what do those narratives say? This is a wonderful tool to really making sense out of those standards is by looking at the progression, right? Because it's articulating that standard for me. Additional tasks, assessments, assessment items, and then focus for that entire grade. Again, moving backwards, I can see what should they have learned in first grade in this particular standard. So an understanding place value. Now we're at first grade. Ah, I can see that my students should know that a 10 can be thought of as a bundle of 10 ones. We can expand that and see that particular standard. So very easy tool to use. Certainly you can look even at high school and backwards map those high school standards and seeing what should what sh sh prior knowledge should students know within this particular domain. Okay, I'm looking at this cluster here, I'm going to map the standard of representing data with plots, and I'll be able to look backwards and see, ah, this particular um, modeling standard was built on knowledge that they learned in sixth grade. And then again, we can backwards map that to elementary school. So wonderful tool. It's called the coherence map. Definitely check it out. And I hope this video was helpful for you to help you see the connections that you can be making across the grade span to support your students in understanding math content knowledge.